as a review, a pair of eighth notes is counted as one and. Ready? Go. One and. A quarter note is as long as two eighth notes. It's counted as one and. Ready? Go. One and. So you, you clap one clap, but you count it for as long as two eighth notes. And a quarter rest is, long, is as long as two eighth rests. It's counted as one and. There's no sound. Ready? Go. One and. So let's practice some patterns. I'll, I'll do the first one for you. One and two and three and four and. Let's clap and count. Ready? And count. And. One and two and three and four and. Let's go to the next one. This one I'm going to point and play it on the keyboard. One and two and three and four and. See how I hold this for two and? Your turn. Ready? And count. And. One and two and three and four and. Let's go to the next one. I'm going to clap and count this one. One and two and three and four and. Your turn. Ready and go. And. One and two and three and four and. Let's go to the next one. So here we see a pair of eighth notes with a beam. And you learned in your last lesson that a pair of eighth notes, an eighth note can have a flag. And they can be separated. So you can either have them beamed together as a pair, or you can have them as individual flags. So this is counted as one and, and this is counted as one and. It's the same thing. Let's do these two. Ready? Go. One and. Let's do these two. Ready? Go. One and. Let's make a two beat pattern. Ready? And go. And. One and two and. So... The next thing, so once again, we'll see it again. Ready and count and one and. Ready and count and one and. So this is the head, the stem, and the flag. This is the head, the stem, and the beam. These are called beams. All right, so let's clap and count this pattern. Ready and go and one and two and three and four and. Now the next pattern, you have all eighth notes, and these two have flags. Ready, and count. And one, and two, and three, and four, and. Pretty simple. I just want you to get used to seeing these. Ready, go. One, and two, and three, and four, and. So once again, a pair of eighth notes is counted as one, and. Ready, and count, and. One, and. And you could replace one of those notes with an eighth, eighth rest. So this is counted as one and. You try it. Ready and go. And one and. Let's take a look at the backwards. You can have the first one as an eighth note and the second one as an eighth rest, which also has one flag. So this is counted as one and. Ready, and go, and one, and. So now we have a four beat pattern here. And I'm going to uh, clap and count it for you first. One, and two, and three, and four, and. And you clap and count it. Ready, and go, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Let's go to the next one. I'm going to play this one on the keyboard. One and two and three and four and. Your turn. Ready and count. And. One and two and three and four and. Let's go to the next one. So I'm going to clap and count this one for you. One and two and three and four and. You clap and count. Ready and go. And one and two and three and four and. 
This is a fun one. I'm going to play this on the keyboard. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and. If you clapped it, it's just one and two and three and four and. So, ready and count. And. One and two and three and four and. All right, so now here's a pair of two eighth rests. Count it as one and, as you suspect. Ready, go. One and. And I'm gonna play it on the keyboard. Ready, go. One and. See, it's silent. So two eighth rests equals one quarter rest. One and. Now you're getting the inside view of all these notes. So, one and or one and. Same thing. One and, one and. So these are equivalents. We have one and two and three and four and. Clap and count this one first. Ready and count. And. One and two and three and four and. This is the same thing. Ready, go. One and two and three and four and. Let's go to the next one. Together, one and two and three and four and. These are the same. Clap and count the top one. Ready and count and. One and two and three and four and. The bottom one. Ready and go and. One and two and three and four and. Let's get to the next one. So now we have a tie pair of eighth notes, and I said in the beginning of the video that two eighth notes tied, which goes one and, or you play it on the keyboard, one and, is the same as a quarter note. One and. So that's counted as one and. This is one and. One note held for two eighth notes. One and. Quarter note held for two eighth notes. So you see them together. One and, one and. Together it's one and. Same thing. So now we have equivalents in patterns. And we have one and two and three and four and. They're the same. I'm going to play the top one for you. One and two and three. Four and clap and count. Ready and go. And one and two and three and four and. Let's do the bottom one. Ready and count. And one and two and three and four and. So you have an inside view of a quarter note being two eighth notes tied together. It's called subdivisions. All right, the top one. I'm going to play this one for you. One and two and three and four and. Let's clap and count. Ready and count. And one and two and three and four and. Let's look at the bottom one. I'll play for you. One and two and three and four and. This quarter rest is the same as two eighth rests. Ready and go and. One and two and three and four and. Let's take a look at this one. This one on the keyboard. One and two and three and four and. Clapped and counted. It's one and two and three and four and. Ready and count and. One and two and three and four and. The bottom one clapped and counted is the same thing. One and two and three and four and. So your quarter rest is as long as two eighth rests. Let's clap and count. Ready and count. And one and two and three and four and. Let's get to the next one. Ready and count. And one and two and three and four and. This is the same. Ready? Go. 
One and two and three and four and. All right, so let's do some patterns now. Ready and go and one and two and three and four and. Let's do another pattern. Ready and go and one and two and three and four and. So remember, you have the eighth rest and eighth note. And it doesn't matter how far apart the notes are, they're the same values. You can have these two feet apart and these an inch apart. We can have these an inch apart and this three feet apart and it's still clapping count the same exact way. So, in fact, they could be upside down, which I'm not going to do right now, but you could turn them upside down and they're still the same. Alright, let's do this one. Ready and go. And one and two and three and four and. So you've got the eighth rest after the eighth note. Ready and go and one and two and three and four and. So in this case, the quarter note equals two eighth notes, then eighth rest. I'll play this one for you. One and two and three and four and. Let's go to the next one. Ready and go and one and two and. Three and four and. Next one. So now you're going to go to your Google Doc with eight numbers, and each one you're going to type A or B. So I'm going to clap this one, and you have to type your answers. One and two and three and four and. I'll play it on the keyboard. One and two and three and four and. So you're going to type A or B for number one. Here's number two. One and two and three and four and. I'll play it on the keyboard. One and two and three and four and. Number three. One and two and three and four and. I'll play it on the keyboard. One and two and three and four and. Let's go to number four. One and two and three and four and. I'll play it on the keyboard. One and two and three and four and. And like I said in previous videos, if you have, if this is going too fast for you, you could always pause it. You could always scroll back. Let's go to number five. One and two and three and four and. I'll play it on the keyboard. One and two and three and four and. Let's go to number six. One and two and three and four and. I'll play it on the keyboard. One and two and three and four and. Seven. One and two and three and four and. I'll play it on the keyboard. One and two and three and four and. And number eight. This is the last one. One and two and three and four and. I'll play it on the keyboard. One and two and. Make sure you put A or B for each one. Don't forget to click Submit when you're done your assignment so I can grade it.